Liloopsis brasiliensis is freshwater aquatic plant that's originally from South America. In a hobby you can find it nicknamed as microsword, microsword grass or carpet grass. It's easy to keep plant that's growing relatively slow and have medium care requirements. Microsword is usually used in a hobby to create a nice carpet look in front of the tank, however there are several things that need to be followed to achieve that. First of all, this plant needs relatively high light intensity and it grows the best when planted in planted tank soil. If you would try to grow it in sand or gravel, it's of course possible, but it will definitely require additional CO2 or fertilizer to thrive. From my experiences, CO2 input is not necessarily required and you can successfully grow this plant even without CO2. In this particular aquarium I am not using additional CO2 or any fertilizer, the only thing that keep this plant growing is nutrients from the planted tank soil and waste produced by fish. However, I have to admit that the plant is growing slower and it's not thriving as much as if the CO2 and fertilizer would be added. When the plant is healthy it will have nice green coloration, however, when some of the leaves are turning yellow, it's an indication that the plant is not doing very well and is slowly melting down. Usually microsword is grown immersed and you may run into some problems when transitioning it to submersed plant. However, usually old leaves will turn yellow and melt and new leaves growing from the root structure will be nice and green. When talking about compatibility, this plant is definitely not suitable for aggressive fish like cichlids or some bottom dwelling fish, as the plant is quite delicate and these fish would destroy it. Usually it's used in aquariums with small fish that are not digging the substrate like tetras, life bearers, etc. I like to use it in tanks with my life bearers, as microsword provides perfect cover for fry to hide from the adults. Propagation of this plant is super easy. Simply take the mother plant and split it into few clumps. All you need to do is replant these few centimeters from each other and the plant will continue growing and spreading around using runners that basically are extensions of the mother plant, producing new roots and leaves. I really enjoy keeping microsword in my aquariums and can only recommend it to you guys. If you're keeping microsword yourself, let me know in the comment section below your experiences with this plant, so we can all learn from each other.